What is going on, you guys? We are out here today to talk about one of my absolute favorite rules of composition. It's one of those things that's going to instantly make your photos better. In fact, you're looking at it right now. It's called Leading Lines. Let's get to it. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and just warn you right now, if you watch the rest of this video, it's gonna ruin mainstream media for you and maybe even your relationship. Here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna invite your loved one over to watch Netflix or something with you. And instead of just enjoying the moment as you're snuggled up on the couch, you're gonna be sitting there thinking to yourself, you know what? I really like the way the director used leading lines in that last shot. And no one's gonna wanna hang out with you anymore. I know, it happened to me. Let's talk a little bit more about leading lines. The whole point of leading lines is that we really want the lines to lead our viewer into the photo and take them on a journey to our subject. That's what we're gonna be focusing on today is how we can use lines to really draw our viewer into our photographs. So let's get out and start taking some photos. As always, I'm gonna be filming through the camera so that you're seeing what I'm seeing when I'm taking the photos. We'll talk about each photo, we'll talk about why they work and why leading lines is making the photos better. Let's get to it. All right, you guys, when it comes to leading lines, there are really only three that I want you to worry about today. The first one is straight and diagonal leading lines. The next one is curved leading lines. And then the last one is natural leading lines. All three of these are gonna help make your photos better in different ways. So let's take a look at each one and talk about them. All right, let's talk about straight and diagonal leading lines. The awesome thing about straight diagonal leading lines, they really give your photo a sense of urgency and power. Then look at these lines, they just are super strong. They just grab the viewer's attention. They just pull you into the photograph. They do an awesome job of it. This is a tough shot to get shooting right into the sun like this, but I love the way all of my lines are working together. I also really love that no cars have come while I've been standing out here. That really helps out. Let's take this shot and see how that looks. Really happy with the way the shot turned out. Love the way the lines really lead us in strongly to the sun there. I even love those little crooked lines over there on the left-hand side of the road. Think this shot turned out really great and happy with the way it looks. All right, let's take a quick look at curved or S-curved leading lines. These are really nice. They give your photo a very soft, almost graceful feel that really just kind of gently leads your viewer into the frame. Much less dynamic and urgent than the straight and diagonal leading lines were. Just gives it more of a natural feel. And I think this is a really great shot. Let's take this photo, see how it looks. There you go, curved leading lines, doing what curved leading lines do best, really gently bringing us into the photo, taking us right to our subject there. I think this looks really nice and I love the way the lines kind of gently wrap us through the photo, taking us right into the little dude back there walking his dog, love it. All right, so here we are looking at natural leading lines. Natural leading lines are awesome, guys. They give you a very organic feel and it's very easy for the viewer to see their way into the photograph. One of the great things about natural leading lines is that the lines themselves can often be the subject. In this case, I really like this shot right here because the lines take us in, they take us on a journey into this shot. And I think that makes for a really great shot. Let's take that and see how that looks. Yep, love this shot. These lines do a great job of just naturally leading us into the photo, and I think it looks really, really cool. All right, enough talk about the different kinds of leading lines. Let's go out and actually take some leading lines photos. Here we go. All right, so the first trick to get a good leading line, you guys, is that you want lines that start outside of the frame and then lead into the frame. So I've got this really cool slide right here. I'm gonna have my daughter come down it, and this sort of works as leading lines, but I think it would work a lot better if the outside of the slide there started outside of the frame and then led into it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move in a little bit closer here. So now see how those lines now start outside of the frame and lead into it. I think that makes the photo much more interesting. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Let's try it again one more time. Look at those lines leading into the frame. We also have some really cool colors going on here. Red and blue always photograph well together. And that's making for a great shot here. I also have the lines at the bottom of the slide there, right down there that are leading into the frame. All of these things are doing a great job of leading the viewer right into the slide, right to my daughter as she comes down. Here we go, Soph, whenever you're ready. Okay, here I come. Oh, but I love it. Look at that great shot. So another reason why this photo works so well, other than the leading lines, is because anytime we can capture action and emotion in a photograph, you know you've got a great photograph. And we've done that here. Look at the smile on her face. She's very genuinely happy. We've got a sense of action. We've got emotion. We've got leading lines. We've got colors. We've got rule of thirds. A lot of great stuff happening here. All right, let's talk about this next shot, you guys. The next tip to getting better leading lines. I really like this blue little play structure. I think it does a great job of leading up but if I just shoot this like this, I don't feel like that looks as good. What I really wanna do is I really wanna get some emphasis on the blue lines. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the camera in really close to it. And what this does is that it really draws a lot of emphasis to the playground equipment. By getting the camera close to the lines, we can emphasize the lines. Then the lines can do a much better job of leading into the photograph and taking our viewers' eyes right to the subject. Let's try this. So I want you to just come down, take like one step down, so with just one foot. Right there, like that, yep. 
Good, good. I love that right there. Look at those leading lines leading us right into our subject. Again, we got great lighting, great color, a lot of good stuff going on here. And bonus, we got a little symmetry in this photo, which I really like. All right, the next thing I want to talk about, you guys, with leading lines is that you really want there to be a connection between your lines and your subject. So for me, the subject of this photograph is going to be my daughter on her roller skate. The problem with this photo, I think, is there's not going to be a strong connection between my daughter and the lines because tennis courts are for playing tennis. And even though these lines are awesome, there's no real strong connection between the two of them. All right, so now I'm out here on a playground, and this makes way more sense to try to get leading line shots of a kid on their roller skate. This is actually gonna work really well for this photograph. So come on in, let's go. So here she comes. I'm gonna try and snap this just a few times here. Great shot, let's try it again. I'm gonna just keep shooting this, you guys. I feel like one of the biggest mistakes new photographers make is they just take one or two shots, but if you really wanna get a good one, I think sometimes you gotta be willing to take a, a whole bunch. Here she comes, let's go one more time though. One more try here. I like it from far away, but I also wanna get, oh, I think I just missed her one more time. Notice how I'm using the rule of thirds. I got the horizon down there on the rule of thirds line. Oh, I think that was the shot I wanted right there. Super happy with the way this one turned out. Love the leading lines taking us into the photo. I love the hair blowing across her face. Wish I had a more happy expression on her face, but she was nervous about being photographed, so I'll forgive her. All right, enough with the pictures of my kids. I know they're amazing and all, but let's go take some different style leading lines photos and see what we can't come up with. Now this alleyway, you guys, I'm just walking around trying to find something totally different to show you. And I just kind of stopped and I noticed this amazing sunset with these cool power lines and the buildings were all creating these nice leading lines. I thought, man, that's a great photograph right there. And I totally wasn't expecting it. And look at that. I think it looks amazing in black and white. Super, super cool. Super happy with the way that shot turned out right there. All right, I took this one because I wanted to show you that sometimes you just gotta break all the rules that I told you about. And in this case, the lines do not start from behind the camera. In fact, they start in front of the camera and they don't even lead very far. But I just love the colors and the lines in this one. And I love that we're getting lines from the barbershop and lines from the tree. And look at this edited photo. I love the way this turned out. I think it's amazing. It reminds me of a photo I took in high school that, uh, that I really loved as well. And then this last shot, I think had really great symmetry. I like how the buildings were the same on both sides of the road. I think that's really interesting. And I, again, I love the sunset. I got really lucky this night when I was out filming this video. We had a great sunset with great colors. I dropped the camera down really low to the ground because I want to get that dynamic yellow line. And oh man, Look at that, I'm super, super happy with how that turned out. Really like this shot a lot. All right, I wanna give you a rough idea what this last shot is gonna look like. I'm shooting this on my fancy camera though because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for some cars to be coming both towards me and from behind me and here they come. So I'm gonna go ahead and ready, there we go. So this is a long exposure. This is a 15 second exposure. That's why I waited till it was gonna be dark out to try to get this shot. What's gonna happen is that these cars are gonna drive by. We should get some light streaks that help also lead us into the photo. Also get some solid leading lines. Oh, heck yeah, I love it. Look at all the different leading lines we have on this photo. We got them coming from the bars or the wires and the cables on the bridge. We got them coming from the walkway. We got them coming from the road. We got them coming from the light streaks that the cars are making. This photo is chock full of leading lines and it works really well. And I'm super happy with the way it turned out. What did you know, you guys? I turned around to leave and right behind me was a really cool leading lines shot that I would not have seen at all because I was so focused on the cool bridge behind me, which was really cool, don't get me wrong. But man, I turned around and I saw this behind me and I thought, oh, that could be a really cool photograph. All right, so you can see this is gonna be pretty friggin' sweet. Oh, here comes a bus too. That's gonna be perfect. Taking this shot, this is a 13 second exposure. Let's see how it turns out. Cameras on the cell phone is having a heck of a time focusing here in the dark. I have no idea if you could even hear me because of all the cars driving by. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, I friggin' love it so much. Such a cool leading lines photo. Really, really great way to end the night. All right, you guys, I made it out of there live. Fortunately, it is cold and dark outside, so I'm glad to be done for the night, but I had a great time showing you guys how to take better leading lines photos, and I hope you learned some good stuff. Let's do a quick 30-second review of what we covered tonight. Put 30 seconds on the clock. Number one, remember, leading lines should start from outside of the frame, usually coming from behind the camera, and then lead into your subject. Two, leading lines should lead to an interesting subject, usually, although three, sometimes the lines themselves can be the interesting subject. Four, the line and the subject should be connected, related. Five, look for straight and diagonal lines or S-curve lines or natural leading lines. Six, get your camera in close to the lines to really draw emphasis to the lines and make them stand out. Seven, use the rule of thirds to create balance in your photographs, make them more interesting. And eight, whenever you can, use symmetry in your leading lines photos to make them even more awesome. Remember guys, leading lines is all about taking your viewer on a journey into the photograph, lead them in 
into it, take them right to your subject, let them know what it is you're trying to take a photo of. Leading Lines is really gonna improve your photos. And speaking of improving, if you wanna learn more, check out this video over here where I go through Leading Lines photos taken by new photographers just like you, and I talk about what they did right and what they did wrong. I think you'll really learn a lot from watching that. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't done so yet, please gently press the like button and gently press the subscribe button. No need to slap it, that's absurd, and have a great night.